Oh, hey, honey. I, I didn't think you'd be home so soon. I'm glad you got off early. It's always nice. No, I'm okay. I just... Do you know how work is? Yeah, I had a rough day, that's all. Look, I, I don't want to talk about it. It's, it's not important anyways. Oh, I'm not going anywhere. Just the bedroom. Because, uh, because, listen, I, I just have some stuff to do and I need some quiet. I'm going to get some extra work done. It's not a big deal. Seriously, I'm fine. Just let me work. I need my home phone to say. I need my home phone to say. I need my home phone to say. Huh? <clears throat> I said I'm fine, really. No, nothing's wrong. I already told you. <laughs> what are you doing? Honey, I, I, I said I had, I had some work to do. No, I'm, I'm not crying. My eyes are just watering. and I was really into my prayer. Leave me alone, all right? As I said, it's just a prayer. Just go back to whatever you were doing. No, I don't need a hug. No back rubs either. Just, just get away from me. Yeah, Allah. No, honey, I... <sighs> what the hell just happened? Honey? No, wait. I'll, I'll stay over here. I'm, I'm just not going to come any closer. Okay? I promise. Is, is your face okay? <sighs> Alhamdulillah. Listen, what happened earlier, I... There's no excuse for what I did. I shouldn't have hit you. And I am so, so sorry. I know I'm not owed your forgiveness. I just... I want to explain why that happened. And I promise you, I'm, I'm not trying to make any excuses and you have every right to be afraid of me. There's just... There's a reason behind it that I should have told you sooner. So, I was at work today, and my dad came into the office looking to borrow some money that I just didn't have to give. And seeing him brought back a lot of old memories. Memories from when... From when he used to hit me. Yeah, that's why I was all out of sorts at work today. Yeah, and after that I couldn't even get anything done. I couldn't concentrate. I was just so distraught that I had to leave. So I came home and I couldn't think of anything else. And then when you came into the room while I was praying, I just, I, I was so stressed I couldn't handle it. And, and after that, when you touched me, I... I didn't see you anymore. And in my mind, it was like I was a little boy all over again. I got so confused and, and so scared that I ended up hurting you. And I'm sorry. I am so, so sorry. Well, I mean, I, I, I didn't tell you because I thought you wouldn't believe me. And no one believed me when I told my friends. 
It's not like my mom ever had my side. I just... <sighs> Everyone I reached out to would laugh. They thought I was overreacting. Everyone's dad is tough, you know? I was just being overly sensitive and ridiculous. I couldn't be abused, so I started to stay quiet. And then when I got together with you, I wanted to show you how strong I was. I wanted to be strong for you. And I thought if you knew, you would just see me as that weak little boy. Wait, what are you doing? Are you sure you want to get closer to me? No, I'm okay with it. I just, I don't want you to feel like you're in danger. No, honey. I, I would never hit you again if I was in my right mind. I, what, what happened earlier, it was, it was a trauma response. And I feel pathetic for saying that. No offense, but you know, I, I, I wouldn't expect a woman to understand why it feels so pathetic for a guy to admit this. Because it's not something a guy is supposed to say. Because. I don't even know anymore. I'm just, yeah, I'm upset at myself for letting him hit me, for hiding this from you and then hurting you. Everything is so confusing right now. I, I, I don't know what to do. No, because it was my fault. I should have been stronger than this. Yeah. You should just leave. No one deserves to be hit. Just, just leave me. Honey. Are, are you sure you want to stay with me? After all I've done? You're too forgiving. I, I still can't believe I let myself hurt you. Oh, I'm a disgrace. Yes, I want a hug. Let's just move a little bit slower this time. Thank you, honey. I love you. I love you so, so much. And I will never, ever hit you again. I think I'm all right now. You think it's post-traumatic stress disorder? But what I went through wasn't even that bad. Uh, of course hitting you was awful. That, that's the worst thing I could have ever done. I, I don't know what makes my experience different. I just... I guess... Right... There is no excuse to hit someone. <sighs> Therapy? <laughs> what if the guys at work find out? What are they going to think of me? No, I can't. This is not something a man's supposed to do. <sighs> I think you're right. No. I know you're right. And screw what they say. I'm not going to let something like this happen again. These hands will never hurt you again. I swear this to you. And my word is my bond. Um, honey, would you be willing to go with me to my therapy session, I mean? I know I'm not the best at expressing my feelings, and I just think if I have you around to help give me that push in the right direction, it'll make things go better. Thank you. I love you so much. You mean everything to me, honey. Thank you for understanding, for treating my feelings like they matter. And I am never, 
ever going to let you get hurt again. You have my word on that as well. Actually, maybe we should just take some time right now to cool off. How about I cook us up some popcorn and we'll watch the Goofy movie on Disney+. Plus. Yeah, a blanket sounds nice too. Hey, what are you doing? <sighs> That's probably a good idea. It'd be nice to find a therapist sooner than later. <laughs> Honey, thank you so much. I really, really do treasure you. And you mean more to me than you could ever know. That's right. We're going to get through this together. And we will guarantee this never happens again.